Now, educational technologies research is relatively recent. Educational technologies is, um, if we take modern educational technologies, is a relatively recent phenomenon within education. And traditionally, um, more traditional fields such as mathematics education and um, English education and things of that nature have had a much more well-established research approach um, as they've evolved over many, many decades. Educational technologies is a newer um, field, but it also tends to be a bit more of an experimental field, um, particularly in the use of technology to assist in the research process, where we tend to use a lot of technological tools by the very nature of educational technologies. But also it utilizes some other methodological approaches. Probably the most fundamental of these has been design-based research, which has taken from the field of um, industrial design and software development and brought the approaches developed from those fields into the research approach that we call design-based research. So there are a range of challenges as a result of all of this for educational technologies research. Um, hasn't been around a long time. There's not a huge number of educational technologies researchers. In, in all of Australia, there's probably only less than 20 that are strongly active um, in educational technologies research. And around the world, it's numbering certainly not, in, certainly not beyond a thousand. Um, so it's a smaller field, but that also has advantages because people tend to know each other more and um, there tends to be a little bit more of a focus. But one of the major challenges is it's also quite a broad field. Technology is impacting upon all aspects of society and all aspects of education and indeed all aspects of research. And so exploring that and exploring the number of different aspects of educational technologies research by a relatively small pool of researchers is a definite challenge. So have a look at some of the challenges identified by Robler and also some of the criticisms of educational technologies research. Again, being a young field, some of the research is not of particularly high quality, um, which offers certain challenges and particularly around credibility and so forth. Not to say not all of it is high quality, uh, low quality, some of it is quite high quality, but unfortunately it does have its fair share of low quality research conducted around educational technologies. So there are a range of other criticisms of educational technology research, and you can look at that in the work by um, Valentinsos and Mo. Um, so have a look at their paper and some of the criticisms they make of educational technologies research. And then more broadly, there is criticisms of educational technology in education. Um, again, educational technologies by their nature tend to be new. So they face a lot of teething problems being introduced into the educational environment. And sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. Um, and sometimes they're done effectively and sometimes fairly shoddily. So there's a range of valid criticism of educational technology in education. And also the growing um, ed, ed tech industry, which has commercial priorities, which don't tend to always align with educational priorities and the expectations we might have around education for high quality um, outcomes. So Audrey Walt Waters has probably been the most prolific around criticism of education technology and the edtech industry. And she has a paper on the 100 worth edtech disasters. Um, and again, have a look at that and see if you can identify with some of those issues.